everybody. I'm Kate McGrath, teaching artist at Darlington Art Center, and I love teaching drama to kids of all ages, and I'm also a playwright. When I lived in North Carolina, I wrote a play called Seafood. I wrote the play, and the music and lyrics were written by singer-songwriter Charles Petty. The play is near and dear to me, since I wrote it at a challenging time in my life, and I hoped it would give others a bit of courage to get through the tough times. In the play, a woman named Bed wakes up and she's disoriented. She discovers that her young son, Jeffrey, is missing. Enter Joe the hobo and his dog, Lenny. They're in search of a home and they ask Bed if they can camp out there. They all become friends. And when Bed loses her home because it's bulldozed, they all decide to travel along the railroad to the sea in search of Jeffrey. Along the way, they come upon a carnival where they're asked to do some storytelling in exchange for food. Bed performs the monologue I'm about to read to you right on the spot, even though she's lacking in confidence. Her friends are right near her, cheering her on. This is Bed. This is the story of a little boy and the magic railroad and the magic beach ball. Once upon a time, there was a little boy. He was sent to the seaside. He rode the magic railroad to get there. It was a magic railroad because he was gone like a flash without being able to say goodbye to anyone until it was too late. The little boy was so sad that he cried great big tears. The tears rolled down his cheeks and they fell to the sand beneath him. The little boy didn't know it, but there were dolphin right offshore. The dolphin have very sensitive hearing. And when they heard the tears of the little boy fall on the sand, they did a little bit of magic. Where the biggest tear had fallen, there grew a pink and blue and green beach ball. Now, when the little boy saw this wondrous ball, he stopped crying and he picked it up and he decided to make a wish. He threw the ball high in the air and he said, oh, how I wish I could be at home just one more time. She was asleep when I left and I didn't get to say goodbye. Only something strange and magical happened. The beach ball kept going. It went higher, higher into the sky, bringing the startled little boy with it. Higher and higher it soared into the stratosphere, out of our atmosphere, until he looked down in the beach and it was like a tiny speck. And now there were stars and planets whizzing around beside him. He was in the Milky Way. There was lots to see, strange creatures like seahorses and a constellation that looked like a mother pig and her piglets. Then the little boy began to spin around. Faster and faster he went, holding on tightly to the magic beach ball. It was going out of control. Something was wrong. The colored lights and the constellations were a blur. The little boy was frightened, he was confused. He called out for the dolphins to help him, but they couldn't hear him so far away in the Milky Way. He spun around and around, he was still shooting higher and higher. He called out in desperation, Mommy, Mommy, help me. This is where Ben's monologue ends, but not the play. Bed breaks down, but with the help and musical talents of her new friends, they are able to sing for their supper, and they are able to keep going in their quest for Bed's son. And they do eventually arrive at the seaside with renewed hope and a chance to start a new community. And that is my selection from the play that I wrote. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, everybody, for listening to my work.